Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories as always. I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, an incredible pair of shoes, a collaboration of that on the campus 80s with of course South Park and specifically the Tali character. Without further ado, let's check out Adidas' take at their 420 effort, the Campus 80 Tali. All right, so the Tali's Campus 80s, haven't really seen a Campus 80 for some time, at least from a collaboration perspective uh, from Adidas. These kind of came out of nowhere uh, for 420, of course, released on April 20th. Uh, and this particular collaboration with South Park has been very well received by the sneaker community worldwide. Uh, just kind of looking at resale prices. I saw a lot of guys on some of the international groups that I'm on uh, that are all massive Addy fans reasonably upset that they got L's for this shoe. So clearly a lot of people after it. Uh, I managed to get lucky on adidas.co.za. The price point of these shoes was 1,999 Rand, which is pretty decent for a collaboration shoe. Uh, I'm not really that big on Campus 80s, if I'm really honest, like it's not really a shoe that I go for mostly but I am a big fan of South Park and I'm definitely a fan of old Tali. Now, before I get into the shoes themselves, I do want to show you the box as it is a really awesome box. There's a whole bunch of cool Adidas collaborations coming out, some of which I can't speak on just yet, uh, but a lot of them have like custom boxes, which is something I really, really love when it comes to collaborations. Like it's so boring when you get a collab and it's just in a normal Adidas blue box. Like, that's just lazy. This right here is a complete vibe. So on top, you've got the Adidas Originals and South Park logos done in sort of spot UV in white. The rest of the box is this kind of light sky blue. Uh, and then on the front, you've got Mr. Tali over here. He's also done uh, in a bit of a gloss finish in the South Park sort of Colorado uh, setting. And then on the back of the box, you've got the standard sort of South Park characters. So Stan, Kyle. Cartman, Kenny, all of them on there. And then just the label side over here, Campus 80s SP, Tali. Uh, so the size I got here is a true to size UK9. They fit me absolutely fine. Uh, maybe just a little bit narrow, uh, which I think is kind of on most Campus 80s. Uh, first glance at the shoe, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of glue stains here towards the front of the shoe. So just from a quality perspective, or at least quality control perspective, that's disappointing to see. And also on this one, um, also some glue stands just towards the front section of the shoe. So I haven't actually checked these out fully just yet. Kind of just slipped them on feet. But overall, obviously, as you guys know, and to match up with the character, uh, the upper material is completely a towel sort of fabric that's been used uh, and done in this kind of cloud purpley color. I think that's what they call it, cloud purple or chalk purple. I think that's the one. Uh, so that's the official coloring of that with matching tonal laces as well. But underneath the shoe and the outsoles, the standard Campus 80s outsoles, just done in a flat white over here, which wraps up into the midsole, of course, with white stitching throughout that. Three stripes over here are leather overlays, and that's just done in the classic Campus 80 three stripes. And then in around the heel section of the shoe, you've got these two kind of like these old school Adidas logos also done in that chalk purple coloring. Uh, so it's the original Strefoil logo and the Adidas sort of typeface has been changed up uh, for the branding in the heel sections. Now to the eye, that could just be the shoe that it is itself. However, when you get to the tongue section of the shoe, and this is probably the coolest part of the shoe why everybody kind of wants it. Uh, you've got Tali's eyes over here, uh, which to the naked eye or out of the sun at least would just be completely normal eyes. Uh, so they're just white, black, and they've got this beautiful chalk purple embroidery around it. And then the two little black eyebrows over there as well. And that is on both of the shoes. Now I'm going to have to do this with a B-roll shot. So I'm going to take these outside and you guys will see what happens when Tali is taken into the sun. So they've got UV reaction material. Uh, which basically reacts to sunlight or any sort of UV light uh, and brings up purple and a little bit of blue there in those eyes. So obviously, Tali's just a uh, little joint. <laughs> but further to the 420 antics of the shoe, on the reverse of the tongue, you've got two quotes. So this one is, I've got no idea what's going on. And set just below that, you've got a little stash pocket for stashing whatever you want to stash on a 420 shoe. See what you did there adidas but not just that inside the pocket they do also give you these two key rings um so one in each side because there's a stash pocket on each side uh so you've got tali in his uh sober state and uh, tali in his uh, not so sober state 
uh, and then you've got the two quotes on the back. So this one is I've got no idea what's going on and this one is that don't forget to bring a towel. Uh, and then just the quote on here, the don't forget to bring a towel is also printed on the reverse of the tongue over here. Uh, the reverse of the tongue is just a, a leather as well, uh, also done in that sort of tonal purple and the entire sock liner of that is also done in purple as well. Now just to take the insoles out for you, which are pretty sticky at best, uh, you've got the Adidas Originals logo and the South Park Collaborating logo is done in the heel in white. Uh, just towards the front here, you've just got copyright 2021 Comedy Partners, which I think is the group that owns uh, South Park, of course, and that's on both insoles of the shoes. And then last but not least, just on the laces here, you do have these aglets. They're not branded aglets at all. They're just white with a bit of yellow on there. So just bringing into Tali's character, I guess the shoes, uh, at least the coloring on this one. Uh, coming through just on there, just a tiny little hit of yellow. You probably could have seen a little bit more yellow somewhere else in the shoe uh, to bring that through a little bit more prominently, but it's neither here nor there. And one thing I did forget to show you is of course inside of the box, really, really awesome tissue paper over here uh, with all the South Park characters, or at least the main lead characters of South Park. Uh, represented on there as well. Now, overall speaking, it's definitely not a shoe that I would be like rushing out to buy if it like, wasn't a South Park collab, of course. Um, it's, you know, like for me, it's not really that wearable. Uh, it's not really my color or anything like that, but that's all my like personal preference on the shoe. I think overall as a collector's item, you know, something for the collection, super stoked to have these ones. As I said, huge South Park fan. So just to recap, the retail price on the shoe was 1,999 Rand, was available at adidas.co.za. It was also like released in Adidas stores and there were also pairs that got out early. So whoever's uh, running those stores, maybe you wanna check in on that. If you haven't got a pair of these, there might still be one more release coming to Shelf Life store soon. So maybe just hang out a little bit uh, if you are looking to get a pair of these. Uh, otherwise, if you do want to get yourself into a pair of these, some of our sellers here at the Story Cape Town Marketplace have already bought in pairs that they were able to get. Obviously, it was an incredibly limited release, so you're ultimately probably going to end up paying resale if you don't get lucky on a raffle with Shelf Life, of course. And uh, the resale price is anywhere between like 4,000 Rand, I think here at Story, and other like places, they're charging like five and a half, 6,000 Rand, which in my opinion is just absolutely crazy. But yeah, you can also look at places like StockX Go if you're watching from uh, overseas like the states or wherever uh, I think they're sitting around like 350 to 450 dollars depending on size so there's definitely good resale value in the Tali collaboration on the campus ladies but that is it for my quick review of these awesome collaboration shoes I hope you guys found it helpful enjoyable if you did please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe right here for more content reviews and unboxings like this down the line but that is all today guys I'll catch you on the next one